Salutations, dear drink tankers. This is all about stickies. Sweet wine rocks. Get your chops around it, unleash your sweet tooth, and let it burrow deep into the world of sticky wine. Pudding a go-go. In really fabulous sweet wines, for me, it's all about a thrilling balance between zing and sweetness. Stickies are all about context. If you're worried about sweetness, and you've got an inexpensive sweet wine that's maybe a bit sugary, add some crushed ice. It's great with a fruit salad, and in the garden on a hot day, oh, you can even serve it as an appetizer. Mmm, summer sensation! Sparkling Moscato. It's a sweet sparkler that works surprisingly well with Christmas pudding. Here we go, though. And it's starting to ramp up now. French Sauterne. Lemony sweet wine, and there's a reason behind it. Thanks to a noble rot that infects the grape in the vineyard called Botrytis cinerea. I think we could do with a fanfare. Thanks for that. Noble rot. What on earth do we mean by that? It sounds revolting. Noble rot is in fact a gem. It gets into the vineyard, onto those grapes, and it shrivels up the grapes, intensifying all of the gorgeous flavours. Sugar, acidity, magnification. So tan works a treat with a wide range of desserts, but try it with a salty rock for, for one of the greatest gastronomic collisions on the planet. The cheese and the sauterne have a similar intensity of flavour and complementary textures. Quite unctuous, rich and creamy, and the sweet and salt balance is impeccable. It is quite pricey, however, and if you're looking to spend a bit less, Australian Botrytis Semion. It's the Aussie answer to Sauterne at its top value. Chenin Blanc is an amazing chameleon. It can make outstanding sweet wines. In the Loire, you've got Bonzo, but wait for it, the straw wine of South Africa. Ah, oh, it is unreal. But my personal favorite requires not just a new way of thinking, but a whole new method of speaking. <clears throat> That is Hungarian, because the sweet wine I'm finishing with is called Tokai. It is phenomenal. Complex, layered, unctuous. What you want to look for is Osu. That is the sweet wine, and it's measured in something called Potonios. Now they go from about one to six. Six is the sweetest level, and then after that, you get something magical, an elixir, syrupy and glorious, that's even sweeter, called Essencia. <sighs> I can practically smell it from here. With Stilton, it's awesome, but with Foie Gras, Tokai Osu is the greatest. Sweet wine, recalibrating your palate, dose by dose. Cheers! Drink tank policies. If you're looking for a sparkling sweet wine, Asti Spimanti or Sparkling Moscato is the one to get round your chops. If you're hunting style and class, elegant French sweet sautern, ooh, ooh, dive into it with a sliver of Roquefort. But for the all time greatest moment, head for Hungary and the wonderful world of Tokai Osu. Ooh, foie gras-tastic. <laughs>